Hello, glad to be back with you with another video. I hope all is well with you today. And I want to say happy 4th of July to everybody. I hope, hope and pray that everybody will be safe. No hurt, harm, and unseen danger come upon them. And hope that God will bless you. Have a good day today. And I pray God bless you every day to have a good day today. Not just because Ju July the 4th is here, but every day that God will have. Because we have a lot to go through, trials and tribulations and different things going on. Things changing for the worse instead of the better. But through the help of the Lord, we'll be able to make it through. Let's continue to trust Him. All those who have accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is their personal Savior. Stay with the Lord. He's our only, only answer that we have to get through these trials and tribulations. He's our only answer to help us. We have the Lord. we got to believe in Him. Trust Him through the Holy Spirit and His Word. I don't care how bad it gets, Lord. Let y'all, everybody that have Jesus and believe in Him, and those other, those that come in to believe in the Lord, hold on to Jesus. Believe in the Lord. Don't let nobody change your heart and mind, because one day we leave in this body of flesh, and nobody can go to heaven for us. And nobody had come back from heaven and told us, at least now I know I haven't never had nobody to come back and tell me what it's about. I learned this by faith, reading the word of God about heaven and earth and reading, reading the word of God to know where I come from and how sinful I am without the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Not only me, all of us is born in sin and shaped in iniquity coming to this world. All of us need to be changed by the shed blood of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And he had done that for us when he went on the cross. And we know that he would, by the power of God, he would rose up from the grave. On the third day, we call Resurrection Day. And I've said it many times on other videos. I just would keep, keep reminding you, as I remind myself, that we is bought by the blood of Jesus that saved us from our sins, not our family, not our mother, father, no priest, or nobody. Jesus has saved us from our sins we are messengers for the Lord. All those that believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we are redeemed from our sins and living according to God's will. Now, if God, if we live in the way God wants us to live in the Bible, what he said, then we are, we are fit to go out and carry his word to others. But we can't live a regular life and do what we want to do and then go, go tell somebody what's, what that said the Lord that will not work. We all got to live by the word of God just as well as what we say to others. We got to live the same way. Do We will not be able to enter into that new heaven and earth, praise the Lord, that's coming down from God. Because this, is, this, this world is coming to an end. We can see every day something new is going on and it's happening. Let us know we don't have nowhere to stay. So the best way out of this is through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because he promised that he would come and get us out before the world be destroyed, praise God. Some must go before, some must go when the, when the things are getting get worse in life, praise the Lord. And all this that's be going on before we around, we'll be around God throne praying for our brothers and sisters down here that are going through terrible things because it's going to change. It's going to get worse than what it is now according to the word of God. And I believe it. I believe it. And from just listening and seeing things going on on the TV, you can see the change of that. Jesus have told us coming on. He that's coming up on this earth. That's what I'm trying to say. He's coming. So don't lose your faith, though, that believe in the Lord. If you hadn't gotten the answer for your prayers yet, still hold on and hold out. He's, he can't lie. He got to do what he said he'd do. If you put your trust in him with your whole heart, mind, and soul, he cannot turn you away. Because he's the only one. Talking about God can he read our mind. He can read our heart before we even say anything, before we even think it. Praise God. That's how powerful God is. We are God's creation. And God ain't going to let anybody and anything come and take us out of his hand. If he, if he was going to do that, he wouldn't send Jesus into this world to die for our sins. So he loves us. He cares about us. But what about us? Do we love God enough to want to serve him and do what's right? Praise God. Because we're going to be tempted. Praise God. But if you believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he gives us the Holy Spirit to help us to go through it. Realize it ain't nothing but the enemy. Don't want you to love one another. Don't want you to hate one another and all these different kinds of things happening. But he, he can't control us. We belong to God. And we belong to the one that will win every battle that Satan bring up on us. We will win through the help of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I just want to encourage you. Enjoy your Fourth of July, praise God. If you don't do no but sit in the house and just look at something that's the rest of that going on. I like to look at the fireworks and all that kind of things like that. Just do things that will make you happy, but don't do things to make you happy if it's wrong. Because sooner or later, you're going to have to suffer with all those for those things. But pray and ask the Lord to help you to enjoy your life that you do have, praise the Lord. And I pray for all families around the world that celebrate 4th of July. And God will bless you. Have a good day. Nobody bothers you. Even if not, it might even rain. Even if it rain, however you enjoy, enjoy the right way, praise the Lord. And you know, you can't even... 
have a birthday party these days outside. Somebody's trying to hurt you. So be careful. And, and I pray God bless you, that you have a good day of what I'm trying to say. And it won't let nothing stop you from doing that. Because the enemy don't want you to have no kinds of fun. Think, oh, I got to wait till I get to heaven to get there. No, God will bless you now in this world. But you can't bless you like you'll bless you when you get to heaven. Because that's a whole different different way, praise the Lord, that we have to live. We're out of this fleshly body that crave for these different little things, you know. When you get, in that, you get that glorified body like Jesus, he don't crave for the things we crave for down here in the earth. It's a whole different 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 way of living in a good way in a kind way in a loving way that you would never ever want to give up on on our lord and savior jesus christ amen he will help us to get through it he'll help us to get through it with his help we can make it don't give up even if it seems bad that he ain't coming he ain't gonna answer keep on holding on you'll see you'll get your answer in due time when god sees fitting ready he's gonna do just what he say he's gonna do but you gotta trust him you can't give up before you give him a chance. Give God a chance to do what he have to do. So I pray God continue to bless and have mercy on everybody around the world. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to say a short prayer. Lord, thank you for us letting us live to see another day. You didn't have to do it, but you did. And I pray, Lord, that we enjoy this day just being healthy. If we're not in the bed of a bed on affliction of any kind, pray for all of us that know how to pray. Pray for those that are not able to enjoy this day. Pray for those that some kind of way something is in their way where they can't enjoy this day. Praise the Lord. Amen. It don't mean you got to be going all places and every day to be happy and be rejoicing in the Lord. Just being alive and feeling good and well. And all of us know what to pray through the Spirit of the Lord. Let us do that for everybody. Not only for our families, ourselves, but everybody in the whole world. We pray for, we pray for peace. We need peace. Praise the Lord. But we know he's going to go through what he's going to go through. But God, Jesus said that he's going to help us to get through it. Praise the Lord. So God, pray that you bless hammers on the families today. Keep them safe. Watch over my Lord. Let no harm and unseen danger come up on them. Pray, watch out for the children, Jesus, as you do. You know a lot of things do happen, but uh, just, just the way it is. But he's going, Jesus, I got a place for you where none of these things will be going on. To you or your family or your children, you'll be free from all these bad, evil things that's going on in the world. But you got to believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to get there to that new heaven and new earth. So I pray, God, it be well for you today, for each and every one. I even pray, God, have mercy for my enemies. I pray in the in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to give you a short word of prayer. I'm God, I gave you the prayer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to give you, I mean to say, I'm just going to give you a short word of God, God word. And it'll be coming from the third uh, chapter of the 24th verse of Roman. Third chapter, 24th verse of Roman. I might go to 23 and I might go down to 25. But the, the very verse that we supposed to have today that the Lord gave to me, it'll be uh, Romans 3, 24. But we might go to 25, like I say, and go back up a little bit to 23. But just follow with me. I'm just trying to get the word to you. So I encourage you to continue. Hold on. To, our, to God's unchanging hands. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So I go to, um, I thought I'd go to 23rd verse. Then I come on down. Praise the Lord. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Let us know all of us have sinned and came short of the glory of God. None of us, none of us came in this. We're holy and, and, and don't, don't do nothing wrong. And just, just can just hold out and hold in and carry on. In, in the right kind of way. We can't do it without Jesus Christ. We can't live right without Jesus Christ being in us. We got a form of a, a, a what you call a morally good person. But the, all the praise and honor is going to that person. Oh, that person gave me this. Oh, that person did that for me. You ain't that, That's not giving God praise. But if that person did good for you or anything, pray the Lord, whether you believe in God or not, I'm telling you, you can thank God for it. Because God has allowed that, part, that person hard to help you. Praise the Lord. But it's bad when we get people to help us and yet, we don't give God the glory for it. We just start praising them. There ain't nothing wrong with thanking them. Thank God for you coming and help me. Thank God for you doing this and that for me. But if you don't know the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you don't know how to do that. I didn't always know either. But now I know. When people help me, I say, thank you. Thank you, God, for sending somebody to help me. Thank you, God, for a person who did this and that for me. And I know God had lied on their heart because he see maybe he, they could afford to do whatever they're doing. And they, 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 you know, they didn't mind giving it. Giving it. But we thank God. We got to thank God for all the good things that happen to us in our in this earth, even through people's praise the Lord. We give God the praise. But you, like I said before, you can't do that if you haven't accepted Jesus as your personal Savior. Praise the Lord. But now that I know different, 
And now that I know better, I ask the Lord to help me to do better. Help me to do the right things that please it in his sight. And I thank God for all the help, all the prayers, all the encouragement that people have gave me along this Christian journey. Because I know the Lord, that was the Lord telling them to do me, to do that for me, to keep me safe so I could keep on turning on, on to God's will. He don't do let you, they, you know, they will help you unless you go to the left or to the right. Stay on that right road that leads you from earth to heaven by faith, praise the Lord. Amen. So we just thank God. Thank God. Even if the day don't go good, I'm thanking God anyway. Praise the Lord. He's the reason why he loves to live to see this day. And I know some people, they are, oh, what's so good about our own? But you better, if you ain't got your soul straightened out with God, you better be thanking God he let you see another day so you have a chance to get it straight, get straight for him. You don't want to go if you ain't got it right with the Lord. No, no. And you want to be saved when you leave this world. And that's why I say seek the Lord while you can find him because there will come a time where you can't find him. He won't answer. Praise the Lord, because he why? Because he done done so much calling out to us, and we love the things of the world, or other things that don't come nothing to do with God more than we do him. That sin is only being a rotten son in this world to die for our sins. It's a shame, but we can see it happen. Sometimes one person do it all they can for you, and you go be showing all your affection to somebody who don't even love you. That's just the way it seems like we do sometimes with God. But I thank God that I pray to save I say he thank God by the blood of Jesus, and I accept him as my person to save you along with all the millions and thousands of other Christians that you can't even count that have accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as their person to save you. But I'm going to leave the scripture with you. Praise the Lord, and I pray you go read for yourself and get back in tune with God if you're out. And if you're not, start asking questions about the true work of God, the true work of God, and the true way of God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Romans. In Romans 3 and 23, I just read that. I'm going now to 24. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in, in that is in Christ Jesus. 25th verse, woe whom God has set forth to be a perpetition through through faith in his blood, talking about Jesus, to declare his righteousness for the redemption of sin that all uh, that that are uh, passed through the forbearing of Christ. You mean it, Jesus shed his passion of blood on the cross to save us from our sins. That's what it means. Praise the Lord. And that's the only way we can get saved through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we got to believe in him. Praise the Lord. Jesus talking about Jesus before we can even be able to have this what God have offered us through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He'll wash you, clean you up from that evil way of thinking here. Have your peaceable mind, but he, but they don't mean you just you you you, you something just to be people do it they want with you. No, God don't work that way. He, he he will certainly look out for you if you obey him. And even we don't obey God. Sometimes God have mercy on us. Look, I can say for my own life, He have mercy on me. I didn't know no better, and he had mercy on anybody in this world, because he know we born in sin and shape to an iniquity and we tea. We don't know nothing about how to serve God and what to do, and we need God to help us. We always turn to something that's not right, and praise God. And we we, we, we got enough wrong to send us as it is. We don't need to keep, add, keep on adding more and more into our life. So seek the Lord while you can find him. Read Roman, I'm going to say Roman 23, 24, and 25. Praise the Lord. Even though I read 23 and 24 and 25, I want you to read it too. And if you have a Bible, a Holy Bible, but read it, you can read it. His, it might be a little change here and there, but it helps you to understand it more clearly. So do that and get your soul spreading out with the Lord, those that have not and those that have. Keep on keeping on with the Lord. I'm telling you, you'll be, you'll be happy that you did. And I know I'll be happy if I keep on with the Lord because he can bless me now. In this world, to get through it, I ain't, I ain't worrying about my soul and spirit leave this body. Praise the Lord. I pray God continue to bless you and keep you from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger. And God love you. If he didn't love you, he wouldn't did the things that he did for you. He's going to keep on loving us and looking out for us. God is good, and he's love you. And you got to love him back by accepting the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as your personal Savior. Amen. God bless you, and I hope to come back with another video. The Lord's willing. Amen.